mate. That's not Lancashire. I mean, these views are just unreal. I've just spent three days discovering some of the best walks and hidden gems in the Lake District. I swear to God, that river crossing was one of the scariest things I've ever done. Honestly, every turn is like a postcard. It's just incredibly beautiful. Join me and my dog Henry for this epic three-part series as we explore Great Langdale and Little Langdale. I've got a lot of editing to do when I get back. Good afternoon ladies and gents. And no, I'm not in Lancashire. Welcome to the Lake District. I'm not normally in this part of the world, but I just fancy the change. The sunshine is out, we're in March, and it is just stunning today, absolutely stunning. If you're a regular visitor to this channel, you'll know that I'm normally walking around Lancashire, but today I just fancy the change. So I've got a few walks planned, I'm here for a few days, and yeah, I'm looking forward to bringing something slightly different to the channel. If you are new here, my name is Tom, and yeah, I just love promoting all things walks, encouraging people to get outdoors, explore, whether it's Lancashire or the Lake District or wherever. Britain is just a beautiful place to be. So yeah, do subscribe if that sounds like your kind of thing. We start today's walk parked down in the Great Langdale Valley, close to the new Dungeon Gill Hotel, before passing through the Great Langdale campsite. Wow, amazing views from here. I couldn't believe my luck that the peaks had had a little snow dumped on them just before my planned visit. Tell you what, they're a little bit steeper than Lancashire. Oh. The sun was shining and with a slight breeze, these were perfect walking conditions. Wow, <laughs> can't get my breath. So there are three main stops on today's five mile walk. First is a trip to Bleetarn, followed by Lingmore Fell, and finishing with a scramble up Side Pike. Before long, we made it to one of the lake's favorite hotspots, Bleetarn. As always, it's time for a quick pit stop and some filming with the drone. Whilst many tend to drive up to see Bleetarn, my wish was to pass by on a hike someday, making the visit all the more rewarding. Well, I don't know if you can hear me, it's a little bit windy but it doesn't look like today's walk's gonna hit any snow. Gutted, absolutely gutted. Pikes just aren't high enough. The ones that I'm covering today. Hey ho. Today's route was actually inspired by another YouTuber, Glenn at Black Crag. He shared a video recently highlighting this particular route. And yeah, it just looked like a really good walk. So here we are. Thanks, Glenn. Bleet Tarn is located in a hanging valley between Little Langdale and Great Langdale. Having now seen it in the flesh, I think I could quite easily just sit and relax here by the water all day. What a stunning location, picture postcard perfect. Next we're off to climb up Lingmore Fell. 
1,540 feet in elevation to be exact. But first, my snack of the day, mini gems. So good. I've been wanting to get to Blee Town for ages. Mission accomplished. Having seen a few people down by the town, up on Lingmore, within minutes everything just changed. It felt like pure isolation. The views from up here were simply incredible, as if I was overlooking the mountains of northern Norway or the Scottish Highlands in winter. And yes, we even found some snow. Fantastic. No surprise, the wind picked up, and typical, my pocket camera with the microphone died as well. Nevertheless, we ploughed on and reached the top, and Henry thoroughly enjoyed being king of the mountain for the short time we were there. In the distance, I have my eye on the Langdale Pikes, a collection of mountains I intend to visit later on in this three-part series. For now though, it was time to head down towards Side Pike, gearing myself up for the rocky terrain ahead. And here's one last look at Blee Town. Gosh, I could not get enough of views like this. It's funny, the closer we got to Side Pike, strangely, the more nervous I began to feel. There's not a lot of terrain like this back in Lancashire. Thankfully, the light shining through the clouds dancing on the opposite mountain range was a welcome distraction. I just had to get the drone out and have a little play here as well. What a day for it. Whether you have a drone or not, I'd highly recommend a high coupling more fell for some of the best views of Blee Tarn and the Valley of Great Langdale. Back to Side Pike, and quickly it became clear what with a terrified little dog by my side and a chunky backpack, I didn't stand much chance of following Black Crag's tricky, narrow public footpath up to the top of Side Pike. So from here we opted to head down towards the town and rejoin the route further round. That light appearing again over Rhino's Fell certainly made up for the disappointment of not making it up to Side Pike. But don't worry Side Pike, I'll be back. Sometimes things just don't go to plan. One second your pocket camera dies, the next your dog won't step foot onto steep rocky terrain. You can't always plan for these things, but sometimes when plans change, so can surprises. As we were met by a group of herdies making their way up from their farm. Aren't these fluff balls just adorable? Very photogenic. This signals the end of our first walk in the lakes. Thank you so much if you made it this far, and do drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed this short film. Honestly, your support means the world to a small channel like mine. Oh, and definitely stick around for part two of this mini Lake District walking series as we venture over towards Elterwater next, in search of some proper Lake District hidden gems in Little Langdale. I can't wait to share this walk with you. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.